So first of all, can you please introduce yourself? Yes, uh, I'm Taiwan's uh, digital minister. I'm Audrey Tang, uh, and in charge of social innovation, youth empowerment, and open government. Excellent. And can you outline some of your um, opinions around same-sex marriage mm -hmm. in the country, which is a current debate mm -hmm. at the moment? Well, it's not under debate because the Constitutional Court already said that marriage equality uh, is constitutionally protected. And uh, for in its landmark interpretation, it says the legislation needs to take at most two years to make um, marriage equality happen. Uh, I think uh, it's now a, a few months now <laughs> um, b before that uh, needs to happen. And so, yeah, at the moment, uh, people generally agree that marriage equality is part of our constitutional protection. And the uh, issue now is mostly how to implement that in the civic code itself. Which brings up my next question. The next month, mm. there are some referendums that are happening yeah. around that question. Like um, whether it's a new chapter, a new section, or a new clause. Yeah. yeah. Um, and some of those um, referendum questions are framed in a way that are opposed to same-sex marriage or trying to limit I don't think so. Oh, you don't think so? Oh, no. okay. I thought there was three that were looking at trying to... There's one that says it needs to be a new um, new law that causes it something that's not marriage, but uh, with the same rights. Okay. So the, the difference would it, be... It, it's not about equality. This mm -hmm. is about marriage meaning different thing to different people. And some people think um, that marriage is a social construct and uh, the state should maybe distance itself from the definition of marriage. Some people think marriage is a state construct and the society need to understand that it's the state construct. So it's more about marriage. The, the term uh, is currently a social object around which people are gradually understanding that different traditions, different cultures associate different meanings. It could be cultural, it could be social, it could be environmental, it could be governmental around marriage. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. So in effect it's almost like a difference between recognition of civil partnership or civil marriage versus other forms of marriage that some of the anti... No, I wouldn't say it's okay. anti. It's, it's just saying, you know, the existing civil code recognized mm -hmm. marriage and they wanted to be called some other name mm -hmm. and in some other law, but de facto it pro provides exactly the same uh, rights as in marriage. Just don't call it that. That's yes. the, the referendum. That's the yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, I might ask a follow-up question if you don't mind around education as well, because I saw one of the questions mm -hmm. as well for the referendum was about mm -hmm. education um, in relation to the Gender Equity Education Act mm -hmm. and potential changes to this around mm -hmm. being taught about mm -hmm. um, diverse genders and sexualities. Mm -hmm. Did you have any thoughts about those proposed yeah, the, the thing is that both sex, sexuality um, difference uh, and gender difference uh, translate into mannering as Hingbie. So, so that again creates the, the, the issue, right? Uh, and uh, there's a good friend of mine, also a colleague at, at Pedis, uh, because if you know uh, the kanji uh, characters, the traditional Chinese characters, uh, Hingbie, right? Uh, the the uh, word Sing uh, is written with a radical of heart and a component of uh, body uh, or life. And so basically it's the, the heart part of gender and the body part of sexuality. Uh, and it's merged into the same word in, in Singbia. Uh, so it could translate as either sexuality difference or gender difference. Uh, and so that's where the referendum is trying to do. Um, there are some people who, who say, you know, Singbie should mean only the right radical, which is Shengbie, right? There's people who are saying, you know, Xingbie should mean the left radical, which is Xinbie, right? Uh, and, and all of this is because, um, you know, in, in, in Mandarin, we're using the same word for uh, two words in English. That makes sense. 